not a lot of people make content about quitting a job they like. Um, one strike, she's out. I guess it's my We're working on a contract right now, and as soon as I sign it, I'm going to like us to freak out. Hey guys, it has been done. Let's have a little chat. Um, what am I about to talk about? Obviously, if you're seeing it, that means I decided I was gonna post it. But as I'm recording this, I really um don't know if this is something I'm even going to share. I got a really cool opportunity, possibly. I got my foot in the door to a possible cool opportunity. I am meeting someone who is big online, who lives here um, near me. And the opportunity is that I would be a videographer or editor for them. I don't know the details, um, specifics on how long it would be for, how much it would pay, my schedule. I know that it's doing videography and editing and that it would be for someone who creates content and it would obviously not be a 9 to 5 office job. I have a 9 to 5 office job right now. It's just hard because there's nothing wrong with where I'm working now other than I don't have time. So I'm just really conflicted on what to do. That being said, my meeting is going to change all of that. The thought of quitting is terrifying. I needed to use this as therapy, I think. Okay. <sighs> Hello everyone. So some time has passed since the last clip, but I just wanted to give an update on what's going on so that I can document this whole journey. Basically, it's becoming more real. I didn't want to get my hopes up earlier on just because taking this new opportunity would mean that I would have to quit my current job. And it is scary to leave your first full-time job. I've never quit a job before. I've only worked at this job for about seven months. So it is intimidating and I have a lot of feelings. Most importantly, I'm beyond excited for what's to come. We're working on a contract right now, and as soon as I sign it, I'm going to quit my full-time job. But I just wanted to kind of talk about the other side of that, which is thinking about um, how I'm going to quit. Not gonna lie, I've looked up a lot of TikToks on how to quit a job, um, and a lot of them talk about how to quit a job that has bad culture where you have a bad boss or you just hate and that's not my situation at all um i have zero bad things to say about where i work right now it's perfect but it's just different than this new opportunity they're just hard to compare um just because one's a nine to five and i do social media things graphic design um video photo but this new one would be basically being someone's right-hand man, um, not nine to five, more random. Every day is gonna look different. And then I can edit in my own home or go to a coffee shop. And then with that, I'll also have the opportunity to really have time to build my own brand and own videography business. So it's really just a matter of changing my career, not quitting a bad job. My bosses are amazing and they've made me feel super welcome and part of the team, especially <laughs> as the youngest person in the office. Like it is kind of weird um, being the youngest one and a girl just, I just feel like the little blonde girl who makes TikToks, but they don't make me feel like that, which is super special. That's kind of a given. Um, I would hope nowhere <laughs> would make me feel like I was like, had imposter syndrome. <laughs> I don't know, they've really just been so welcoming and they really do appreciate like the younger generation and they understand how important social media is. And working in that space, um, you really have to vouch for it, but at the place I work, they understand it and I don't really have to like fight to explain the importance of my role. They know it's needed and that's why I was hired, but uh, yeah, it's just been really great. I just wanted to talk about that because not a lot of 
people make content about quitting a job they like. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. I'll name some like feelings I have right now. One feeling I did have that I'm trying to get on the mindset of is embarrassing. It is a little embarrassing to quit a job before you've worked there for a full year. Um, especially as the youngest person and the most recent hire. It just is embarrassing. I shouldn't be embarrassed. I'm quitting for a very solid reason and even if I didn't have a reason, that's my choice. The second feeling I'm feeling from this is... <laughs> this kind of sounds selfish, I guess, but I feel empathy like the thought of my bosses having to go through the the me quitting process slash interview new hire process again like makes me feel bad i don't know why that's just what i'm feeling so i'm sharing it in case anyone will relate or in case you are watching this because you're going through something similar not not my place to feel that way i understand that I don't, I basically just don't want to stress anyone out by making this decision. But yeah, that is kind of how I'm feeling right now. I will obviously update you when more time passes. I'm probably going to be signing a contract soon um, this week. And then we will see what happens with quitting. Okay, guys, I look like this because it's Sunday night and I didn't know I was going to film, but... I just signed the contract of my new job. So basically I'm going to be a full-time contractor slash freelancer, but this certain gig I have that I've been talking about this whole time will be like my main one. And I will share more once I get the okay. And I just wanted to film this raw moment, like mostly for myself, just so I can remember like this night i i was crying because the thought of like quitting my other job like scares me <laughs> so much but i am also very excited so weird mixed emotions i can't wait to just rip the band-aid off tomorrow i'm going to quit tomorrow morning um and yeah it's gonna be hard but um i will record how my day went tomorrow after I do it. And I'm gonna look back on this moment and think, you're fine. It was fine. So I, I'm really excited for 24 hours from now. <laughs> okay guys, it has been done. I am on my lunch break right now. I'm gonna fold laundry while I kind of talk about it. There isn't that much to say. It went really well. Um, I cried, which I figured I would, so that wasn't really, like, surprising. <laughs> yeah, I basically just asked my boss to meet and then told her, and it went really well. They were really happy for me, which I didn't think they wouldn't be. I, I, I knew it would go well, but it was still scary. So, I am going to be working there the rest of this week and then the rest of next week. Um, I put my last day as Friday just so it wasn't weird that I was coming in two Mondays from now. Um, I will if they need me to, but that just feels weird to come in on a Monday. <laughs> so, I put it my last day as March 10th, and then I will start my new job either that following Monday or there'll be a week in between. I am just glad that quitting is over with because it was making me so nervous that I couldn't like fully be excited <laughs> just because like, like I've already said a million times, I don't, I didn't dislike the job that I quit. I liked the job that I quit, but I know that, um, I'm going to love this change of lifestyle even more and I will also hate myself if I never, if I never tried it. So it was just a very personal career path kind of decision, had nothing to do with my job um, and it wasn't an easy choice but I know it was the right one and now I can't wait to like just be excited and not feel like guilty or weird and I'm so happy for the opportunity I got. 
and I can't wait to tell you guys more. I feel like I'm being kind of like annoying with the wording, but I don't, I know I'm going to be able to share it, but I don't want to like jump the gun and like annoying <laughs> with it, but it's really, really, really exciting. So yeah, I'm just going to keep folding laundry. My lunch break's almost over and then I'm going to head back to work and keep grinding for two weeks. My last day of work is tomorrow. This week has really gone by fast, especially since at work I've been doing a lot of like finalizing things and organizing files and just making sure everything's like posts are scheduled for when I leave. I've been actually busier than normal. I have some cards. So I'm just gonna sit down and fill out about 10 or 12 cards for some people at work and just, just to say thank you and I don't know how many people will be able to talk to you tomorrow, so um, I just wanted to like hand out cards. Um, I'll vlog tomorrow how I feel and everything to wrap up this video. It's my last day of work. But yeah, it's my last day of my 9 to 5. I'm going in at like 9.30. It's like 9.15 right now, I think. I'm going to get Starbucks and then go. I don't really have much to do because I already finished up everything. So I'm just going to like clean my desk area and make sure all of like my files are organized. But I've done that all week. Um, and then I have an inter like my last interview with my boss. And then I'll get to go before lunch. So, very easy day. I'm so stuffy that I'm like gagging and coughing. But let me show you the all the letters I wrote. Obviously not gonna show you the letters, but the amount. These are all of my notes going to my coworkers. And that's a lot of stuff from my desk. But yeah, I will update you when I'm done and I'll vlog in the car. Well, I'm done. <laughs> All done with my end five. I'm gonna go get a car wash and maybe we can chat during that because I'm still in the parking lot right now. I'm done with my nine to five. And I've said it a million times before, but there's nothing wrong with where I worked. So quitting was not easy. I. I literally did not expect to cry today. Like, when I first quit, that I knew I was going to cry because I was, like, quitting. <laughs> but, like, once you peel off the band-aid, then it's just kind of like, well, you already quit, so you're just working for two weeks to kind of wrap things up and then you leave. Now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't really, like, say goodbye to everyone. I gave everyone letters, like, notes, though. So it is what it is. Um, I didn't make a huge ordeal of it. Just, a lot of people rip on nine to fives and that's not why i'm quitting working from home is really nice but there's pros and cons to that and i i know that so i don't want this to be like a i quit my nine to five because of nine to five because that's not really why although i am very excited to kind of have my own schedule for the most part um, but i'll still be working just as much if not more hours now so I guess that's all I have to talk about. I cannot wait to share who I am working with. I don't want to share that just yet, just because it's so fresh and I don't want to be weird and I want to be respectful. So um, I can't wait for, for me to share and talk more about my new job and kind of, I mean, I'll be a contractor for someone and then I'll be contract slash freelance for other people, um, but I can't wait to share more about it because she said that I could talk about it and there's no like rules on that, but I just want to make sure like once I actually start working with her into not next week, but the week after, I just want to like confirm that she doesn't care that I post about it or whatnot because I don't want to be weird. That's all I have for now. Yeah. My life is changing already. Gen Zers, if you're comfortable, not even if you're comfortable, if you get an amazing opportunity, 
even if it's a little non-traditional or maybe risky, I recommend you just do it because there's no reason not to at our age if you are in your 20s or even your young 30s. Any point in life you can change what you're doing, but at a young age you have like the least amount of responsibilities and risks. I don't have kids. I don't need my own health insurance yet. I don't have that many expenses. Like, I have expenses, obviously, but not having kids is probably a huge reason why. But I'm just saying, like, I was scared to kind of make the decision at first because staying with what I was doing now was a way more comfortable and safe option. But I think I would hate myself inside if I didn't try what I'm doing now so and now looking back at like how I felt two three weeks ago this is like a no-brainer and I am just so excited so yeah that's all I have thank you so much for watching if you are someone who's thinking about doing something similar to me quitting um your nine to five to do um uh, freelance or contract work I encourage it um at the end of the day do what is going to make your day-to-day -day more enjoyable. But yeah, thanks for watching, and let's just say I'm going to be posting a lot more. So, that's all I have. Bye. I, 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 I'm so... I'm so...